Hi, I'm Chris Gumbleson. I work at the Dactronics Technical Help Desk. Uh, today we're going to go over the equipment and the installation of the FLXR radios. Uh, we have two objectives we're going to be going through at the beginning here. Uh, first one will be identifying uh, all the installation equipment and the second will be uh, the indoor server radio mounting and connections. Let's go over the equipment now. Uh, first off we have the DM100. Uh, that cable connects over to your server radio. The server radio is going to connect to an antenna wire which will run outside to your antenna. The antenna is going to have two options for connecting. Uh, first option is going to be the U-bolt option which will mount to a pole. And the second option is a wall mount option to mount outside. Um, also with the server radio, there is also a wall mount installation for that as well for internal to mount to the wall on the inside. So the client radio is going to mount either to the side structure of the sign or an internal mount inside the display. Uh, if it's an external mount on the display, it's going to connect into an quick connect on the side of the display. Uh, there's two cables that come with it. Uh, this cable always comes with it. And this one will connect right to, right to the driver on the inside of the display. So we can either connect it to the side of the display, an inner connect, or this can all be mounted inside and connected to the display. The client radio will also come with an ex antenna extension kit to extend that antenna as well. All right, we are going to go over the installation of the indoor server radio. Uh, first piece we're going to go over is the antenna mount. Uh, the antenna mount is going to be mounted to your um, outside of the store. There's two options to mount this antenna. One is a U-bolt option for mounting on a pole. The other one is an option for uh, mounting to a sidewall. Um, once that's connected, it'll come with an antenna cable that'll connect into your antenna. The antenna cable is going to lead inside your store, and that's going to connect into your server radio in this top port here. The next cable that we're going to connect in is your Ethernet cable. There are two options on the bottom. One's labeled serial, the other one's labeled Ethernet. This cable is going to connect into your serial port. The Ethernet port is going to be used for programming the server radio. Uh, we will go over programming that server radio uh, in a little bit here. The next cable is going to plug in is your power cable. Uh, this Ethernet cable is going to lead over to a 9-pin connection. That's going to connect into your DM100 handheld in the top. Uh, there are two options for the DM100 handheld. One's going to have just one serial, or one 9-pin one nine connection at the top. Um, another DM100 option is we'll have a second 9-pin connection at the top. Uh, that 9-pin connection will be used for point of sale. One important note uh, to mention is we do not want to power the server radio up until the antenna is connected. Um, if it's, the antenna is not connected and the power is installed to it, it can damage the radios.